Okay, so you guys are familiar with linear series. That's the linear patterns that go up in a straight line. Um, I think by the end of this video, you'll know how to do some non-linear series, but you might not know why it works, but you'll know how it works from watching this. So first of all, a linear series, two, four, six, eight. All of those have a common first difference. So that means they go up by the same amount each time. So here's a non-linear series. Okay, you might recognize those numbers, but we'll get to that soon. The difference between the first and the second term is three. The next difference is five. The next difference is seven. So we have to look further. Now we're gonna look at what we call the second differences. The second differences here are two each time. That lets us know because we have the second differences that we're going to be dealing with something that looks like this. If you have an x squared in your, in your equation, then it is a quadratic series. So we need to compare, first of all, what number should go there. Well, we take this number here in our second differences and divide it by 2. Now that is our number that goes in front of the x squared. That is our x coefficient. So now we can see that, well, 2 divided by 2 is 1, so our equation is, at the moment, x squared. So I'm just going to write our equation, uh, our sequence again. And now, when x is, that's x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to put in our x squareds. 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16. Right, 1 minus 1 is 0, 4 minus 4 is 0, and so on. So that means we're done. Our pattern is matched by our equation here. So that means we're done. That is y equals x squared, and that's the end of our rule. Okay, so that's the most basic one. There'll be none as easy as this. This is the easiest one. So I'm just going to show you one more. So here's a new pattern. This is for x So x is 1, 2, 3, 4. A rule is 14, 25, 40, 59. Right, so first of all, I'm going to look at the first differences. See if we've got a linear straight line rule. So the first difference is 11. The next difference is 15. The difference after that, 19. So we can see that it's not linear. So we're going to check the second differences. Second difference is 4, 4, so we can see that we have a quadratic function, x squared. We just need to know what goes in front of the x squared first. We take this number here, our second difference, put it in front of the x squared, divide by 2 every time. So, so far our rule is 2x squared. That's what we're working with at the moment, we're not done. So if I write the patterns again, 14, 25, 40, 59, and now I'm going to subtract 2x squared. So x squared, when x is equal to 1, is 1, times 2. x squared, when x is equal to 2, is 4, times 2, is 8. x squared, when x is equal to 3, times 2, is 18 x squared when x is equal to 4 times 2, 32. So we can see straight away that we don't have the end of our pattern just here. So that means it's not going to be just 2x squared. So I'm going to subtract those. That gives me 12, 17, 22, 27. So now we can see what's our leftovers. This is our leftovers here. Let's look at the differences again. First difference is fives. So that means the rest of this will be linear. Five is your difference, so we can put plus five x here. So that's our rule now. Now we've just got to see again if it's complete. So once more, 14, 25, 
40, 59. I'm going to take away 2x squared plus 5x when x is equal to 1. So that's going to be 2 plus 5 is 7. When x is equal to 2, it's going to be 8. Plus 5 times 2 is 10. 18. When x is equal to 3, it's going to be 18. Plus 5 times 3 is 15. 33. When x is equal to 4, it's going to be 32. Plus 20. 52. That leaves us with 7, 7, 7 constant differences. That means the last part of our equation is plus 7. Now I think that's our rule, just here. Last thing I want to do is make sure that we're correct. y equals 2, and I'm just going to put x equals to 4 in the equation, and it should give us 59. So that's our equation with x substituted in to be 4. And that's exactly what we expected. So that means we're correct.